Hey, what up everybody? Uh, Stevie Breach coming to you. Ambulance flying by. Sitting here on my work today. Honestly, uh, they're going to need an ambulance to come by my house tonight. If Stone Cold Steve Austin is appearing on Monday Night Raw tonight. Uh, this morning, it was announced Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to be the cover boy uh, for the WWE video game coming out this year. Honestly, that's a little bit weird uh, to me. Seeing now Stone Cold Steve Austin really isn't really doing anything for the wrestling business other than... Um, I guess you can say podcast each and every week on Podcast One. I'm sure it's going to be good to, to help his image out again. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago they did the uh, special edition of the uh, WWE game. It was the version that CM Punk was on. Uh, you were able to buy um, a special edition, get a signed card um, by uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. It came with its own, I believe. I believe it was just a slip cover, and the rest of the game was all the damn same. Um, they put a third disc. Uh, from the Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, uh, DVD that had come out. They didn't give you the whole thing. They just gave you one disc, and that was the last one uh, with some matches and stuff on there. So basically, if you're already a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, you already had the disc that they were giving uh, to you. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, they, they like to make those that extra money. Um, they, they don't give you a whole bunch other than an autograph most of the time, and they get 30 more dollars out of you to buy the uh, special edition. I fell for it once. I'm not falling for it again. But, uh, you know, I guess on the basic cover, if you're walking down the, the aisle at uh, Target or Walmart or uh, wherever you buy video games at these days, you'll be, be able to see Stone Cold Steve Austin on the cover. I'm guessing that the uh, video game company thinks that they're going to sell a few more copies with people thinking that they're going to pick that up. But, um... I don't know. I don't play the game uh, much anymore, and one of the reasons I don't play the game is because of Stone Cold Steve Austin, to be the truth. Um, I like to play the wrestling games, but uh, when, on that Stone Cold Steve Austin game that you know was a big part of the Attitude Era was a part of the game, I suck at Royal Rumbles. I've never been able to do them. Uh, it doesn't matter what console it's on. It's, it's one of my uh, things that makes me uh, rage out and quit on video games is... It never makes any sense. Is that you're fighting in the Royal Rumble? You want to throw somebody out of the Rumble? You got to do a seven thousand button connection. You got to be slamming your button. You slamming your finger on the button down like crazy uh, to just just push somebody out of the Rumble. But you know you're fighting in there, and any of the computer guys can walk over and just pick you up and heave you over the top. Why it's so easy for them and not easy for you, I've got no idea. I've cheated every which way I can think of. I've uh, put the game on easy, uh, trying to scoot by like that, but not, I've never been able to do it. So that uh, that one part of the uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin story where he had to win the Royal Rumble to go on in his story was the one was the part that I quit um, during that uh, during that game and, and never picked up the controller and never played it again. But um, I'm really hoping. Uh, that this could be something to do with Stone Cold Steve Austin in the wrestling business. You know, it's when Austin was done wrestling, and uh, he still wanted to be involved in television. Um, you know, he did the part of playing the sheriff on Monday Night Raw, and that was awesome. But you know, that, that that's only gonna last so long. And I believe he left uh, the Monday Night Raw as a, as a normal performer when his team lost at the Survivor Series, um, and. Um, sort of faded off to obscurity. Uh, we've seen him show up at Cyber Sundays and WrestleManias, but it's always a long patch in between seeing him. He was a special guest referee at WrestleMania 27, and then we didn't even see him show up for Monday Night Raw or anything until uh, he showed up at WrestleMania 30 as a, somewhat of a surprise uh, to Stone Cold. Uh, when Stone Cold Steve Austin came out uh, during Hulk Hogan's speech at the very beginning. Um, but... Uh, you know, there's big time rumors about Stone Cold Steve Austin and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. So uh, you can only hope ah, that this is going to lead to something. So um, I, I'm guessing that more than likely they picked this because they thought it was going to make some more uh, video games. Um, you know, sold in the United States. People that are, you know, older wrestling fans. You know, lots of stories coming out about WWE. Um, you know, when you look at it on a scale of the last 10 years, they've lost over half of their uh, their audience. Lots of fans aren't, uh, you know, basically tuning into the show anymore. Uh, I made a video last week blaming it on social media, but everybody's got their reasons. Some people say that the show's just not as good. Some people are going to say that they just don't connect with the characters. Or maybe some people are just going to say that, um, you know, the favorite wrestlers don't wrestle anymore. I know that um, my buddy Alex... Edge is the best one TV 
um, was a huge wrestling fan. Uh, one of his favorite wrestlers was Edge. And uh, one day, you know, Edge retired after WrestleMania. Alex made it from about April until uh, July and just said, fuck it. I don't care about wrestling anymore. There wasn't anybody out there that he could really connect with that he wanted to be a fan of. And, uh, you know, he sporadically watches wrestling here and there. Um, but uh, for the most part, might watch it once or twice during a whole a whole year. That's about it. But um, we'll have to see what goes down. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that Austin's going to be there. But as Austin is the cover boy, we're going to have to see if it uh, produces any results that we care about.